that everyone is going to do is grab your compass. The compass is the orange thing. You can look up here and see how I'm doing everything on the smart board. So we need to make a circle with an eight inch diameter. So what is our radius for that circle going to be? Four inches for the radius. Good. On your compass, if you look at the orange part of your compass, you're going to notice two sets of numbers. There's a, ru a little ruler along the outside edge of your compass, but then whenever you look more toward the middle, there are actual numbers and they have like the one that's closest to the white circle says one R. What do you think that R stands for? Hmm? Yeah, one inch radius. So we need a four inch radius. If you find the number four R, that's the hole we're gonna use for your circle. Before you draw the circle, um, lay the center point of your compass near the middle of the paper and make sure you mark out that center point because we're gonna use it in a little bit. Then you're gonna hold your center point down, find four R, it's a little bit, it's not quite to the edge of your paper. And then you're gonna go ahead and draw your circle in. You wanna make sure, unlike mine, mm -hmm. that you're close enough to the middle that you're gonna be able to get your circle drawn the whole way around. If it runs off the edge of the page a little bit, um, it's not gonna matter. Or if it's not completely centered, it's not gonna matter. So at this point, whenever you have your circle done, here is where you need to know whether you're doing design option A or design option B. How do we figure out how to split this thing up? How is a circle measured? In degrees, right? How many degrees is a circle made up of? 360 degrees. So if we need this circle into 12 equal pieces, how do I figure out a circle that is divided equally into 12 equal pieces? 360 divided by 12, and what is that number? That number is 30. So if you are doing design option A, you are going to want 30 degree angle measurements. If you're doing design option B, you divide 360 by six, which is 60 degree angle measurements. So I'm gonna show you the 30 degree angle measurements here. So if you wanna watch kind of how I finish this out, and then you guys will be able to work on it on your own. So on your protractor, that's this arc looking tool, You've got a center point in the middle. You're gonna line that center point up over the center point of your circle. Don't get confused with this little dot that's on the other side of my paper. And you're gonna mark it every 30 degrees. So zero, 30, what's my next one? 60, 90, 120, 150, and 180. Don't forget the zero and the 180. And then if you mark again on the inside, You'll have all three measurements that you need, or you can flip your protractor around and do it down here, however is easiest for you. Once you have those measurements marked out, you should have a, Mommy, you should have a total of three different lines. You should have one here, one here, and then a center point. You need to connect those lines, making sure that you hit that center point the whole way from one edge of the circle into the other. Do you see how I hit the center point? Don't forget the middle or else it's not gonna work. Okay, so really quickly here, once you get all of that done, you're gonna have something that looks like this. When you start your design, What's really important, guys, I'm not gonna repeat this, so just pay attention up here for like two more minutes and then you're gonna have the rest of class to work. What's really important about these designs is keeping them within the pie pieces. If you are doing option A, you have to stay within this line and this line. So if you're doing something simple like polka dots, you can come the whole way out to that edge and you can go beyond the outside of your circle but you have to stay within these two areas. Does that make sense with everyone? If you are doing design option B, you're gonna have bigger pie pieces. Your pie pieces are gonna be doubled and you have to go on the outside edge of your pie piece, okay? 
if you're doing design option B, I'm going to come around and talk to you because there's a specific way that you have to think about how you're overlapping everything. Um, the only other thing 